Hello there, this is Steve French here with Volt Vision, and I have, I'm using light jams uh, to control lighting. You can see it responding to my voice a little bit in the background, but I also use Ableton Live to do audio, because uh, I'm a musician, performer, writer, uh, and so I'm using this Wii controller to control light jams, but I also use light jams as kind of like a scriptable, programmable patch bay that allows me to bring in things like the Wii controller and then send it right back out as a MIDI message through Loop MIDI over to Ableton. And I so I have Ableton and Light Jams kind of controlling each other. And, and it's really awesome. You know, tempo, sync, Wii controller, all kinds of stuff. So right now, I, I have this uh, Wii controller set up uh, where I can start some audio. And I can control the volume. And so this volume control is very powerful, and it's the nature of my question right now. So right now, it's acting, uh, the accelerometer is being ignored unless I push the one button. Now, the X rotation of the accelerometer is being mapped to volume. But the challenge I'm having is, it's absolute. And what that means is, right now I'm at a low volume, right? Well, if I forget where I left the volume and I come in at a different orientation and hit the one button, it immediately jumps to a different volume. And you know that if you do like a live performance of music, you can't have instantaneous jumps in volume. You know, you gotta, a relative would be much more preferred. So right now, like right now I got loud volume, but when I push the button, it immediately jumps to whatever this absolute value is. And a relative would be much preferred because then no matter where I'm at, I could be upside down, it doesn't matter my orientation, when I push the button, it only looks at the change. And that is much more preferred and much more powerful as opposed to absolute. And so that was the nature of the question that I posted yesterday. I just wanted to give you a visual here. Um, so I can stop the music with the two button, I can uh, start the music with the A button, and I can actually change songs with the up arrow. I'm changing different songs here, and it automatically jumps to the next song every time I hit the A button, which is awesome. I see using this in a live uh, performance context, like for a DJ or VJ or such things. Cool. So that's my question. Uh, Light Jams is awesome, and I'm starting to realize it can be a very powerful uh, and scriptable, programmable patch bay, and it gives you a lot of power, and I'm just scratching the surface right now. Okay, here we go.